for a long time, you covered business for the Omaha World Herald. What and how is the economy of Omaha doing? Uh, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's reflecting the national economy right at this point. Uh, Omaha traditionally has lower unemployment than the rest of the country, and that's, that's still true today. Uh, it's, a, it's a situation where employers want to add more jobs than they necessarily find and they necessarily have qualified applicants. So that's one of the challenges. Uh, Omaha also maybe is somewhat lacking in businesses that are uh, companies that are in the manufacturing sector. Uh, it's very big on services, financial, insurance, uh, any kind of uh, business services that you can find, uh, architecture, construction, all those, all those things. Probably a little bit short other than food manufacturing, food related manufacturing. Omaha really needs some, some strong manufacturing people and they've lost some of those jobs in the past. But uh, those are jobs that, that are, uh, uh, part of it is kind of a chicken and egg thing. Do you, do you locate a business here that needs manufacturing workers or do you have manufacturing workers and then they would attract a business here? So it's, it's, a, it's a difficult balance to, to come through. Uh, Cindy mentioned a little, uh, a little earlier that meat packing is one of the industries or the main industries, or at least that Nebraska is known for beef and cow. What is the main industry in the city here in Omaha and in the states for that matter? Yeah, I, I mean, I would say I would say services have pretty much overcome the manufacturing. Now there still is some meat packing, as you know. Uh, there still are some uh, uh, companies that do that, but uh, but that industry, instead of being really concentrated in a central location like it was, is spread out among a lot of places, and and so. Uh, we, we do have that section, but it's really, it's really uh, the, what you'd call a white collar industries. Uh, telemarketing has been a big industry in Omaha for a long time. And, uh, and then that's a case where people who have other languages have some value to them because people will call in for uh, ordering to buy something and if they want to, if they want to speak another language, uh, Omaha tends to have people who are able to do that. So it's a, it's, that's a, an opportunity for people to, to come and work. So uh, if, if an immigrant would like to come to Omaha, relocate to Omaha, what are some of the jobs that they can do here? That, uh, I mean, and what are the, some of the companies that hiring immigrants? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, there's, uh, we worked uh, some time ago with some immigrants from Laos and they immediately got jobs. One, at the, the, the guy got a job at a packing plant. The woman got a job at a laundry that does uh, shared services, they called it. They, they do all the laundry f for the hospitals and, and those kind of things. So there's, there's, there's uh, those kind of works. Uh, the the uh, telemarketing industry does have demand for people, people who can speak well in their language. It's important that immigrants uh, be educated in their own language uh, uh, as well as learning some English, but uh, so that they're, they're up to date on what needs to be done. Uh, I would say the telemarketing industry is, is a good one. Uh, then all sorts of services that happen, you know, the, Cindy mentioned restaurants and those kind of personal services are, are, are certainly looking for it. Banks have uh, tellers that can, you know, communicate with their customers. Uh, yeah. they, they need people to do that. And, and I would add to that, um, just sort of the, everything Steve said. But then um, there's this interesting return a, uh, to an appreciation for um, the trades and artisanship. Um, you know, we have uh, uh, the near, the new North neighborhood in the, the industrial uh, setting of near, in uh, North downtown. And they're really trying to attract people, furniture makers, different people who are crafts people, which of course you go down 24th Street in the, uh, um, the corridor where there are a lot of immigrant merchants. Th there are a lot of people who are, who are experts in those crafts. So it's an interesting return to that appreciation. And I think um, uh, there, there's room for uh, the, our foreign-born population, immigrant population, to, to find their niche there too. Um, so, so I, I think that's real interesting that that sort of because that is the forte of a lot of immigrants when they come here. You know, they're entrepreneurs, they're arts people, they're trades people. So, and, and that Omaha is starting a little bit more to turn around and appreciate that uh, more than in the past is is welcoming to them. And. Uh Let's approach the economy not just from the eyes of an uh, from an uh, from an immigrant's uh, perspective, but for 
for a newcomer, for someone who is considering to move to Omaha. Personally, I have observed that um, in order for you to, to, um, to be able to have a middle class or uh, upper middle class life here, you, ha you really have to have education and a degree. Does it hold true? Yeah, I, I think both sides, and, and to, to comment a bit on the talk about the trades, I mean, Metropolitan Community College has really become a booming sort of place for people. For instance, there's a culinary institute there that uh, turns out people having to do with, with the food and uh, the restaurants and all those services. So uh, when you say education, there are a lot of jobs that require you to learn things and have education, but not necessarily a four-year bachelor's degree that we think about. Now, Omaha does have two medical schools, has two universities, Creighton University and University of Nebraska at Omaha. Uh, Bellevue University is, is nearby, Iowa Western Community College, Metropolitan Community College. Uh, there's the Clarkson School of Nursing, so there's lots of schools uh, depending on what sort of talent you may have or what sort of interest you may have. But it is important, uh, you know, I mentioned uh, the struggle to find qualified workers and the key there is qualified. You know, you have people who apply for jobs but just don't have the qualifications uh, and, and yet there's job openings waiting for the right person to come along. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good to find out what, what, your, what your skills are, what your talents are, and then go from there.